And we are back with another music breakdown reaction. Today is Eminem's Houdini music video. Obviously, we're going to go through the video, break down the bars as, as many as we can. It's the first time I'm hearing the song, so I'm still new at this breakdown game. So if you guys see anything or hear the bars I just don't catch, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, again, I, I'm a huge Eminem fan. Huge. You know what I'm saying? Like he's in, in my top five, he's the top, he's at the top. So I like, I like complex bars, I like bars that make you think about what that person's putting together, uh, just because that's how my brain works. So I appreciate his, his lyrical, uh, gymnastics that he, that he, uh, showcases throughout his music. So I am very, very excited to hear this, um, are you guys ready to go though? Chat, we're currently live by the way on Twitch. So if you guys want to catch these live, join us over on Twitch. Twitch, sauce up the chat for your boy if you guys are ready for the one time. Let's get this thing rocking, man. What is going to go down? Eminem Houdini. Let's do it. Hey, Em, it's Paul. Uh, I was listening to the album. Not beating Good cheeks. Fucking luck. You're on your own. Not the bat signal. Okay. Okay. Yeah, look, man. Check this out. Not nah, Morpheus looking ass. Portal from 2002. The open. Oh shit. Nah. That's hilarious. Hey, what the hell is going on here? Hey, yo, chill. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. That's that's funny, bro. Hey, yo. That's hilarious. He's an hey, yo. 2002. Eminem comes through the portal like. The fuck is going on, bro? That's funny, bro. That's hilarious. Let's go back. Get your ass down here. <laughs> Yo. Hey. Not the Pope. Hey, yo, chill. Oh, not the B boy. Chill. Well, look what the stork from. Little baby devil with the fork tongue. Ain't it sticking out? Baby devil with the fork tongue. Hold on, was was that hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Was was that a was that a machine gun Kelly this? Be devil with the fork tongue, and it's sticking out, yeah, like a sore thumb. Well, look what the stork wrong. Little baby devil with the fork tongue, and it's sticking out, yeah, like a sore thumb. With a forehead that it grew horns from. Still a white shirt, pulling up in a Chrysler to the cipher with the flex perks and a Bud Light shirt. Lyrical technician and electrician, y'all light work. And electrician, y'all light work, okay. Okay, okay, that's, that's a light, that's a light bar. You know what I'm saying? It's a little light bar. Electrician, you light as a light work. Y'all light work, uh, and I don't gotta play pretend it's you. I make believe, what? and you know I'm here to stay. Cause me, what? if I was to ever take a leave, what? it would be as for to break a feed. Yeah. If I was to ask for making the right. stallion, if she would collab with me, would I really have a shot at a feed? I don't know. That's a bar, bro. My man said, if I ever, if I ever want to collab with Meg the Stein, whatever, have a shot at a feet. That's fire, bro. The the that's crazy. Getting shot at her foot, obviously, but shot at a feature. That was that's a that's a dope bar. That was a dope bar. That was fire. Let's go back. He back in his Robin, rap boy. Hey, yo, chill. Not the Huracan Evo. Nice. Shade is getting away. <laughs> hey, yo, chill. Nah, not the. <laughs> so stupid. Now, back in the days of old, right around the time I became a dope fiend, ate some coping as a way of coping, taste the vote. Hey yo, that that was a that that wordplay here was crazy. Go back real quick. Now back in the days of old me, right around the time I became a dope some coding as a way of coping, take the vote, gets case of vote, it turned me into Bro, that was that whole that whole scheme was crazy. Talking about how he was back in the day, obviously being a drug addict, what it did to him, right? Appropriate, yeah. Participation trophy. 
that this whole world's about to turn into some Girl Scouts. Hey. That censorship bureau's out. That censorship bureau's out. Hey, come on, let's go, let's go. There's some Girl Scouts. That censorship bureau's out. So when I started this verse, it did start off lighthearted. It first feels like I'm targeted. Mind boggling how my profit is skyrocketed. Look what I pocketed. Yeah, the shit is just like y'all have been. Like jogging in. I've been running at full speed, and that's why I'm ahead like my noggin. I'm gonna fight. Oh, look at all this, bro. All the all the podcast situation going on. This is called. Okay. I've been running at full speed, and that's why I'm ahead like my noggin. I'm gonna fight y'all. That's why I'm ahead like my noggin. And come on, bro. When you debate who the best, but I'm some white chalk and win. I step up to that mic cock and then. Oh my god, it's a chicken dot again. Nah, bro. Stupid. And from my last track. Go on me, it's to ruin everything. Hey, yo, chill. Not the force. <laughs> Looks like we're in for a showdown. He, he would say that though. <laughs> he actually would say that though. <laughs> I like that he's kind of he's talking he's kind of taking the piss out himself at the same time. Like the self deprecation is pretty dope though. Hey yo. They created a monster, but nobody wants to see monster anymore. They don't say him. I'm a bigger prick than cacti B. Did he just do a fusion dance, bro? He just fused it. This is the new the new M, bro. This did hit a fusion dance on his own averages now. Cacti B. Not R. Kelly's favorite singing group, the Black Guy Peas, bro. <laughs> He's talking about him peeing on people, bro. <laughs> so stupid, bro. The Black Guy Peas, get out of here, son. This dude is so stupid, bro. <laughs> so stupid. Get out of here. Shut up, bro. No, bro. No, he didn't, dude. <laughs> he did not just say that, bro. <laughs> No, he didn't just say that. My transgender's cat Siamese. It <laughs> it identifies it identifies as black but acts Chinese. <laughs> Hey. Trust me, I'm a great driver. Hey, yo, chill. Don't worry, I just got my license back. Shut up. Stupid, bro. <laughs> I just got my license back. Hey, bro, that was a funny video. Bro. That's a funny song, bro. That's a funny song, bro. 
I didn't, again, I didn't know what to expect. It's definitely, like I said, remember I was saying, like, it depends on how lighthearted the song is. If the song is lighthearted, it's going to be more comedic bars versus, like, heavy-handed doubles and triples, right? He had a couple little things in there, but it definitely had a fun vibe to it, and I'm super cool with that as well. Um, who gave Blood a license in the first place? Ayo. Uh, he said, not a big fan of this song, to be honest, and I'm a huge fan. It's cool. Like, it's, it's not like... I, again it's not like a crazy bop or anything like that it's a chill track um like i said before it seems like him having fun on a song you know what i'm saying and i kind of like the fact of him kind of going back into like his his comedic fun music video vibes as well because we had some boom bap stuff from him as well him with royce and stuff like that where he's really deep in his rap bag this song feel it definitely feels more like playful poking fun at himself poking fun at society you know what I'm saying? Kind of saying, hey, I want like I wouldn't I would have never thought this is where we would end up in 2002 to now. Like I would have never expected the world to be like this. I thought I think it's really interesting. I think it's very interesting on how he was approaching this. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting. Guys, how y'all feeling about it? Chat, how y'all feeling? We got a poll W track. Yes. No. Let me know how y'all feeling about it. I think personally for the song itself if i were to give a song out of 10 like something that i would probably just go back and listen to and listen to i'm not sure i'm not sure i feel like it's like six and a half seven out of ten in terms of like oh i want to go back and hear this again and again and again. like it's a cool song you know what i'm saying obviously the sample of abracadabra you know what i'm saying that super old song um so yeah it was cool. I think it would definitely do well just because it's catchy. You know what I'm saying? It's catchy. It's fun. It'll probably sell well for sure. But it's not like, it's not like super crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guarantee you his album's probably going to have songs that are just barlicious. You know what I'm saying? But this is definitely more of the radio fun Eminem. I'm just out here having a good time. The video, I love that when he does videos like this. Because you can see like the nerd in him as well. You know what I'm saying? He can He can have fun, be a kid. You know mess around be creative i like that and i like seeing like when him and dre do stuff together because it like it gives a whole different aspect to dre as well you know everybody has a perception of dre so seeing him you know kind of play batman he always calls him batman so like that whole vibe is really cool um wesley said i gave it a seven yeah six and a half seven i, I i'm kind of with you on that one for sure uh fun song you know nothing nothing too crazy like i said before uh now said it's no rap god i mean again like that rap god was him saying like okay bro like i know y'all didn't like my last album but let me show you who i really am like y'all act like i'm out here just giving y'all trash like i'm you know what i'm saying like i i i'm i'm bar heavy out here he wasn't trying to prove anything here i think i think he was more so just trying to again poke fun at where society is things that he's noticing like just kind of outlandish obviously the whole censorship situation I think a lot of that is kind of what his whole for, whole focus is on this song. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. How y'all feeling about Houdini, Eminem's latest single? And do you think this is kind of foreshadowing what the album is going to be showcasing us? Like, is it going to be this similar type of um, tone? Are we going to have bar-centric tracks? Is it going to be heavy or is it going to be more playful like this song? Do you think we're going to have a ton of features? Uh, I would love to know your guys' predictions on that. Other than that, man, I'll catch you guys in the next one.